So in the last tutorial, we got a lot of work done. We had a uh, functioning console window when you press C. Um, these two chunks of code don't aren't explicitly called anywhere. And we added these two functions. And um, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at how we get them going, or um, get our other functions here, the game manager and all this other stuff, to actually call these. So let's take a look at how we can send a message to our print message function from another uh, script. So let's take a look at the coin manager here, for example. Say I want my coins displayed sent to my GUI. Well, what we can do is we can use uh, some of our already pre-made uh, features here. For example, send message is something we learned previously that allows us to send messages to other consoles or to other objects. So right now we have this GM variable. So this is going to send date and number of coins to our console window. Okay, so we know GM, this variable that we created earlier, was used to find the game manager. So right now we're at our game manager, and so we're going to go GM dot send message. And if you remember from last time, send message is really amazing because it could send a message to anything, any script anywhere within our scene, which is awesome. And remember, it takes two parameters, and the first parameter is what your the method or or function. Now, I want to point something out here. Um, the reason why I keep explicitly saying uh, method or function over and over again is to drill into your head. You see how it says here uh, in the telesense, it shows you how to use it. It says void string method name. So if you don't, if you if you're explicitly calling these things functions or methods, it's going so in the so the first thing we're going to do, remember, this sends two parameters. So you can see it says string and then what you want to send, the send message options. So I'm looking for this print message function here. Okay, And remember how it accepts one parameter? So by creating, um, by having two parameters in here, first, what is the method that we want to call? And then what are we passing? I just want to pass games, uh, the coins collected from here. Remember we kind of sent that to the console before? Now remember guys, like if you feel a little um, overwhelmed by this, um, by all of this information, you have to go back and you have to practice this over and over, just like you practice your art. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hit Control S, and let's jump back in. Now there's something I want you to notice. I increased the size of my width and height here um, in between videos, just when I was testing this out. So I'm gonna go ahead and collect this. And notice nothing appeared because we have to hit C for our console window. Okay, so with that console window open, um, I really have to increase that game time. So we open my console window. I'm going to walk up to collect this first coin. And we get nothing. Why is that? Did I forget to save? GM.getCoins collected. Save that. You know what? I think it's we forgot to give it a string to reference. So coins collected, colon space. Let's hit control S. Let's try that again. See, open our console window. There we go. So coins collected two. I've got to fix it so they're not on top of each other. It gives us the time and the date, and we run out of time. Okay, so I'm going to um, stop the console window here, and I'm actually going to end this video. What we're going to talk about in our next video is how to create something called a HUD, which if you're a gamer, you know all, what all that all these terms mean. But if not, and you're just sort of learning the script, um, in our next video, we're going to talk about HUDs, which are heads-up displays, and that's part of the graphical user interface family. So those of you who are interested in becoming GUI artists, it's important that you learn this, and then hopefully I'll make some videos on Scaleform and how to actually create the graphical elements that go into GUIs.